This morning, we are waking up to temperatures that are just so much cooler than where we were this time yesterday. But the good news is, is that we will see above average high temperatures once again this afternoon with sunny skies. We are going to see colder temperatures for tomorrow behind a dry cold front and rain chances are going to return as we get into the middle of the work week. Live look from Carbondale this morning. Absolutely stunning sunrise out there. We're still seeing quite a bit of fall color across Carbondale and really across much of our area thanks to lots of warmer weather weather. 41 coming in this morning across Carbondale and 44 for Harrisburg. We have fallen to the upper 30s across Mount Vernon and Piedmont, 40 for Farmington, 46 for Union City. All of these clear skies and cooler temperatures are attributed to an area of high pressure just off to our west. As we proceed throughout the rest of the day, that area of high pressure is going to linger just to our west. 8 a.m. rolls around. A lot of us are still going to see lots and lots of sunshine. We're still seeing lots of sunshine by the time we make it to lunchtime today. I expect sunny skies to last all day. Now by six o'clock this evening, that high pressure should track further south as a cold front tracks from north to south across our area. I do expect that cold front will be through our area by the time we make it to midnight. It is going to be a dry front. We're not going to see any clouds, much less any rain chances. That cold front will exit the region early tomorrow morning. By 7 a.m., a lot of us are going to wake up tomorrow to much cooler temperatures, but mostly sunny skies. We may see a few high level clouds tomorrow afternoon, but overall, a lot of us are still going to be mostly sunny until later on in the afternoon after about 3 or 4 o'clock. That's when we're going to start to notice some clouds build in from the west. Now that is associated with our next system and as early as 6 or 7 o'clock Wednesday morning, we'll likely start to see a few isolated showers form as a warm front lifts from southwest to northeast across our region. Despite that warm front moving through, we're likely going to remain dry through at least the first half of the day, but our rain chances really are going to uptick during the second half of the day as a cold front starts to enter from west to east late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. Now a few of those rain chances will stick around as we approach Thursday morning, and when all is said and done, we're talking about the potential for maybe a half inch to potentially maybe around an inch further towards the south, but of course those heavier rainfall totals are really going to depend on wherever those heavier showers and thunderstorms do set up. Again, a few isolated showers could linger through most of the day on Thursday, but then we'll likely see drying conditions during the second half of the day. We'll be dry for Friday and Saturday, but we are going to see yet another week disturbance move in as we get into Sunday and Monday of the weekend into early next week. So certainly keep the Storm Track 3 app right there in the palm of your hand. In addition to those rain chances, you'll also be able to keep an eye on all of our temperatures today. We'll still be into the mid 50s by 9 a.m., but we'll likely warm up into the mid 60s by the time we make it to 3 o'clock this afternoon. We'll be back in the lower 50s by 9 p.m. tonight. As we wake up tomorrow morning, I think a lot of us are going to be a little bit cooler than today, likely only around 39 degrees to kick off your Tuesday. Those high temperatures tomorrow largely only running into the mid to upper 50s, maybe near 60 for some of us. We will see the lower to mid 60s return for Wednesday behind that warm front, but we'll likely see the temperatures return to the upper 50s once the cold front fully pushes through on Thursday. But you know, if the upper 50s aren't your thing, well, the lower 60s are going to be returning very quickly <laughs> by next Friday and Saturday. We'll be back in the 60s again, a few isolated showers on Sunday, but our best rain chance this week certainly is going to be Wednesday.